Hey there, here's part 9 of this modeling basic series. I'm Brian Rocks and this time around we'll be using the boolean modifier and the shrink wrap modifiers to cut some holes in the mesh. Um, we'll be cutting these vent thin things out here and this one in the back as well which I'll use as a, an initial example. Um, first we need to go to layer one because I'm going to grab these objects that we're going to be cutting into. Um, it's uh, this one here and this cover on the back. So we'll go ahead and move those to layer four. Uh, the, I think the easiest way to cut a hole in an object is just cr to create the uh, um, create the shape that you want to cut. I created a, a 14 point circle because it'll work for it'll work for this. And go ahead and make the general shape that we want, and scale it down and position it up. bring this up above the object. Now we want to go ahead and just like uh, get this flush with this uh, top face. A um, couple ways to do that just um, turn on the snap tool. So I, you can pick uh, the vertex for the snap element. Um, so I grab along the z-axis and then put your cursor right on one of these points here that's uh, on the top edge and it will snap it right to it or we go ahead and undo that and show the shrink wrap modifier over here in the properties tab uh, with that shape selected add modifier under the deform column it's a shrink wrap and now the target of the shrink wrap is going to be this piece so that's cube 018 so select that initial shape again and over here it's cube point zero one eight and there it is um, it's a bit much to use the shrink wrap modifier for something that's already flat and you can just snap it down to the face basically but in okay, just for a quick example so um, to complete the hole here that we want to cut just go ahead and apply the shrink wrap modifier um, go ahead and join these two objects together so shift select them both and then control control J Whoops. excuse me select that shift select that and then control J The reason that half disappeared last time was because I don't have a um, mirror modifier on this, but I do on that. So when I uh, selected this as the um, active object and joined them, it removed that mirror modifier from that initial object. So um, in this case, I want to go ahead and just shift select this and to just make that the ob active object and then control J and that'll actually add the mirror to this piece as well I mean to the shape that you cut in here so tab in edit mode and we want to get rid of any of these interior faces so I'm going to go ahead and just delete that vertice there and then you can go about uh, filling in the Access around the hole here, so we can just, I'm just going to select these top vertices here and hit F, create a face, and then I'll do those four, do these, and then we'll select all that. And for the most part, that's done, but you would want to go back and clean, uh, clean up this face to make it. Um, we'll triangulate it kind of um, 
make it three or four side polygons along here and to easily split up a large face like this you can just select um, two points hit J and that created a new face here and that's four-sided that's fine um, and then you just oops I gotta turn that snap tool off and you just go about same thing just select the points you want to um, create a new edge so it splits that face up and however you know however you think it looks cleanest and like this would be done here and then you just do the same down here as well and you can also uh, create holes with uh, the boolean modifier um, in that case I'm going to go ahead and actually I'll just use this thing now I'll make a new shape go to top view and I will just create a, a circle Let's bring it way up here scale it way down and just, we'll just cut a hole right about there um, now with the boolean modifier you do need some uh, uh, volume or depth um, an actual object and not just a uh, loop so I'm just going to go ahead and extrude that down and then just put it through kind of like a cookie cutter and now with the boolean uh, operators you just want to select the object you want to apply it to the object that you want to modify so in this case we want to cut a hole in this object here so we'll go ahead and apply or add a boolean modifier and in this object field here we want to add this so it'll be circle 019 Nine. Oops. and you can see you have a hole here um, there are three options with the boolean modifier you have intersect, union, or difference and with the uh, with these, these two shapes here it's kind of hard to tell what those do but I'll show you here real quick uh, but first up when you do um, have the settings what you want um, as you want for the boolean modifier you go ahead and apply it um, select the original object that you're cutting in uh, cutting with and then just delete it and you have your resulting geometry right there and you see in this case um, this came out pretty clean you wouldn't even need to do anything with this um, a lot of times a boolean modifier will really make a mess of things but with uh, the new bmesh uh, functionality it makes it a lot easier to clean up the mess so I'll show you what actually what the uh, boolean modifier does and just add a cube I'm gonna add a sphere here Let's see I'll just scale that down a bit now we'll just modify the cube with the modifier so let's add a boolean modifier and get the name of this one sphere 003 alright and with the intersect selected there you can see I'm going to turn the shading off and since the cube still selected I can move it around and you can see the resulting shape there um, that white wireframe is the resulting shape so when you apply the modifier and then uh, remove this sphere you'll have just this bit left as you can see it's the intersection between the cube and the sphere um, and if I were to switch that to union you can see it's just a union of the two and so the inter uh, difference kind of the opposite of union just um, takes the difference of the two objects 
So and you can see the geometry it's going to create as a result. And this isn't horribly messy, but when you have more complex shapes um, and you're using the Boolean modifier, you just got to be aware that it can create uh, quite a mess that you might need to clean up. That's basically basically it for the Boolean modifiers. Um, it's something that um, simple shapes. It's it's real functional and works really well. As for like cutting holes like this, um, something like something like this, I would just do the the first iteration and just lay the shape out and then fill in the uh, fill in the spots around the hole, uh, like we'll do here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually first duplicate shift D duplicate that and then move to the first layer because I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete these bottom vertices here so I'm gonna actually steal this shape and then shift D and then I'm gonna hit P to separate and so we have a new object bring that down. I'm going to remove the mirror modifier from that. And we need like what six of these across here. And that's easy to um, easy to do. Let's scale this down a bit. Alright, go into object mode and add modifier array and leave it at fixed count tab that up to six and then this um, spacing here I think I used 1.8 last time I tried this Actually, I might scale that up a bit cool now we need to actually shape these up along that edge there so I'm going to go ahead and just apply that array and just go ahead and shape these up how you like and okay that uh, looks fine And now we want to use actually the shrink wrap modifier to lay that out on this bottom piece. And that's a cube 005, so select your shapes and add modifier, shrink wrap, and cube, oops, 0 0.005. And there we are. And you can actually, before you apply that, if you need to, like say adjust, um, adjust positioning, you can still do that. It'll still translate that along that, along that face there that you have the shrink wrap on. So I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to go ahead and um, shift select both of those and then shift D to duplicate drag that back and use that as a different example um, I'm going to go ahead and actually really quick oh back to layer 4 there we go in the edit mode go ahead and select these two large faces on the ends and delete only faces. Oops, undo that. Delete faces. And then we can actually select those two top ones, and oh, that's the only one we want to only delete the faces. So we can are left with these end, these edges on the end. And I'm going to actually, on edge select, I'm going to select this edge here, and I'm going to delete that.
but now you would go actually just join these objects so shift select both of those and control J uh, tab in edit mode and then you can start filling this in so I'm select a couple edges hit F and just do the same And then see I'll just alt shift select all those shift select these and hit F oops undo that I'm gonna shift select these as well and then hit F and then you got a face there say shift shift select shift select alt shift and then shift select these and hit F and there we go and then you can go back just like we did with um, this initial example and use uh, the J key to split these faces however you see fit to clean them up um, in this case I added uh, like a loop cut before I before I filled all the faces in, I added a loop cut, kind of at the center of each of these um, holes, to just give me one extra vertice to work with, so I wasn't uh, ending up with really long triangles here. Um, now with the boolean, the first time I did this, it worked fine. The second time, not so much. So let's try it again here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, hit edit mode, select all these and just extrude up, hit A to select all those and then move them down there. And then we want to cut into this object, so add the boolean modifier and whatever object this is, it's a cube. 030 so in the object cube point zero three zero give it a second to think and you see yeah it didn't didn't work out too hot yeah you can still see the it just filled in these faces here so let's see what kind of cleanup we can do I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that select those shapes go ahead and delete that out <coughs> excuse me so you go to top view and go to edit mode now that's the only thing with these sometimes a boolean operator kind of makes the computer chug a bit but you can see the kind of uh, mess you can end up with sometimes uh, with the boolean um, so I kind of use it your own discretion. I find it much easier to kind of just do it the manual way. It's uh, at least predictable. So you know, just be careful when you're using the boolean operators. Um, simple shapes, it's great. When you have a bunch going on, it'll make your computer lag out. Uh, it, I've had even crashed Blender doing it. But that's the fun of messing around, I guess. Um, that's a, just a cutting holes and stuff. Pretty straightforward, simple. It's uh, only when it comes down to actually cleaning up, you know, the final part. It is again, that's just a lot of times you'll, you know, make a uh, make a cut and then you'll say oh, I don't like it, so you got to redo it. All part of learning. All part of the fun of it, I guess. Um, so that's basically it, um, and that's cutting holes and stuff. So I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.